Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try part two of this very same problem. We have a force equal to 2x squared pushing a block with mass m over a horizontal frictionless surface and the distance covered equals 4t squared. We're trying to find the average power as a function of time, but in this case we're going to use the definition of work. Now first of all we know that power is equal to work divided by time. And of course, in this case, we want to know, well, how are we going to define work in this case? Well, the definition of work is that work equals force times distance. But since the force is a variable force, what we need to do is say that a small amount of work, dW, is equal to the force at any point in time times a small amount of displacement. So we can go ahead and find the total work done using this definition which means that work is equal to the integral of all the little dw's, which is equal to the integral of force times dx. And of course, since force is equal to 2x squared, we can say that work is equal to the integral of 2x squared times dx. All right, let's go ahead and do that. We can go ahead and continue over here. So that means that work is equal to the integral 2x squared will be 2x cubed over 3 evaluated from x equals 0 to x equals, well, since x is expressed in terms of time, it'll be x equals 4t squared. Of course, when we plug in the lower limit, we get nothing. When we plug in the upper limit, we get the following. Then work is equal to 2 times 4t squared quantity cubed divided by 3. Now that means that work is equal to 2 times 4 cubed, that would be 64, times t to the 6th power divided by 3, which means that's equal to 128 divided by 3, t to the 6th. Of course, that would be the total work done. And that means that the average power can be defined as equal being equal to the total work divided by the time that it took to do that. And of course, that would be from 0 to t, which means that this is equal to 128 over 3 t to the 6th power divided by t, which is equal to 128 divided by 3 t to the 5th power. And yes, indeed, that was equal to the average power that we found on the previous video. The exact same result, that's what we'd expect, of course, but this time we did it by using the definition of work and integrating the total work done divided by the total time taken, which by definition then is the average power and that is how it's done.